In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you some steps you can take when you load a project you've been working on and discover that some of the resources in that project are missing. What can you do in that kind of situation? Let me tell you first of all why that happens. When we go into PowerDirector in the project you see on the screen and right click on any of the resources, let's click on this one here, and click on Open File Location. It will show me where that file is currently found. Right now it's in my 2 terabyte drive, a subdirectory called Temp Erase. So what it does, because it's an NLE non-destructive editor, the program actually goes out and looks at those original pieces of data and it doesn't change them, it reassembles them on your tracks and then it will create from them a new project when you render it but it doesn't actually touch the original files. So if those files move or are deleted, then you're going to have a gap and it will alert you to that fact. So what I'd like to do is close this copy of PowerDirector and I'm going to take a couple of these resources and move them away from where they are right now and we'll reload it and show you what to do when this happens to you. When I reopen the project with elements missing, I see this screen. And this screen tells me in the center that I have some elements that I cannot find. Now it's important because when you look here, it will give you the location of the one or more of the elements. You can ignore each one, or if you have more than one, you can ignore them all. So I'm going to go to the first one, and the important thing to remember is this will give you the name of the file and the location of the file, at least impartial. So I'm going to click on Browse. When I click on the Browse button, it goes to my Temp Erase folder, and it looks for that file. Now, if you've erased the file and it's not anywhere in your system, uh, there's no way you can get it back. But if you've moved it, if, if it's in, say, a flash drive or something, you can connect that and then you can go in your file system in your explorer and find it. Uh, the easiest way to find it, now that I know the name of it, here it starts with 19047. I'm just going to use my search, but I'm not going to search in this directory because I couldn't find it. I'm going to go back to the root directory of that drive and type in 19047 and see what it can do. I'll press enter and it's looking for that file. Now it found the file, so I'm going to click on, it found more than one, but let me click on this one here and I'll click on open. Now it took care of that file. Now I get to the next file. Okay, I've got one that starts with 184300. I'll click on Browse again, and I think it's on the root directory, so I'll type that in, and press Enter, and it will work to try to find the file. If it doesn't find it in the first place, you might try a different drive or a different location, depending on your setup. Here's my entering office, my video clip. Looks like I've got several of them on that drive to pick from, so I could use one of several. Now here I'd have to know the rest of the numbers. It's one, one that ends in 06, it's 10 seconds long. So I'll click on this one and click on Open. And let's see if we have any others that did not find. So now I have all my files back and let's go back to this kind of screen here. So now I'm back to where I started. So all you have to do is trust your file explorer and use your search options in order to take these files back. Now you're going to see something different on a couple of these. If I click on the one in the office, let me right click on it and then click on open file location. And you notice it went to a completely different place in my system. It's two terabyte dejuice and then October 2023. So that's where that file happens to be. I knew I had it on the drive more than once, and that's where it's located, so that's the one it's using. So that's a way in which you can try to track down the files that are missing. Now, you do have another option. If you ever want to archive an entire project or put it in a single folder and you copy every single resource that's there so that you can use it in another project or on another computer and you want to assemble everything in one place, you can do that by clicking on the File menu 
and then clicking on the pack project materials option that will take everything in your project and make a copy of it and put it in a folder in a location that you prefer and you can work from it there if you want to. If you have the program saved in another location, the caveat is that it will not automatically update if you load that PowerDirector file from another location because the two are not synced together. We have a tutorial giving you some details on how to pack your project and we'll give you a link to that in this tutorial. But we hope this is helpful for you as you consider what to do when you get in that awkward place where you can't find a file and you know you still have it. You can use this resource to reconstruct that in your copy of PowerDirector. Mm -hmm.